It's an interesting question as to whether or not people are hardwired to develop VSS. Uh, in fact, I don't think so. I think the brain does have some hard wiring. It mostly works on the basis of software in the same way that our computers operate. So you have programs that do things and it's the programs that seem to be uh, at fault here rather than uh, there being specific structural abnormalities. So when we look at functional imaging, we see abnormalities of function in networks, but we don't actually see specific structural changes, generally speaking. There may well be some secondary uh, changes in, uh, in, in cortex with abnormal function over a long period of time, but structure doesn't seem to be the major problem in VSS, it's function.